Hello students, welcome to Vidwa Niketan. Are you ready for today's class? Hello everyone, welcome to Vidya Niketan. In this video, we are going to discuss the syllabus of ICC Biology for class 8. The syllabus of class 8 ICC Biology is divided into 6 units with a total of 11 chapters. Let us look at them one by one in detail. The first unit is called Transport of Food and Minerals in Plants and Animals. The first chapter that we have under Unit 1 is called Blood, the circulatory fluid in our body. We will study about blood, its components and functions, the different types of blood vessels, the structure of heart which is the main organ for pumping blood in our body, the process of circulation of blood in our body, the different blood groups and the methods of measuring blood pressure. The second chapter that we have under Unit 1 is called Transport in Plants, Absorption, Conduction and Rise of Sap. We will study about the structure and functions of xylem and phloem which helps in conduction of water and minerals in the plant body respectively. Then we will study about the different types of movement of molecules namely diffusion, osmosis and active transport. And then lastly we will study about the process of transpiration which helps in conduction of water and minerals in plant body even in the tall trees. The second unit is called Growth, Development and Reproduction. The first chapter under Unit 2 is Reproduction in Plants. Here we will study both the asexual as well as sexual methods of reproduction in plants. Under asexual reproduction, we will study about fission, budding, fragmentation, spore formation as well as vegetative reproduction. Under sexual reproduction in plants, we will study about the parts of a flower, the process of pollination, fertilization and finally about the structure of fruits and the dispersal of seeds. The second chapter under unit 2 is called seed, the structure and germination. The structure formed after fertilization of sperm and ovum in a plant body is called seed. Here we will study about seed, the different types of seeds and their structure. And then we will also look at the process of germination of seeds which gives rise to a new plant body. The third and chapter under unit 2 is reproduction in animals. Here we will study about the asexual method of reproduction in animals namely fission, budding and fragmentation. We will also look at the life cycle of some insects, grasshopper and butterfly. Then we will finally study about the human reproductive system, wherein we will look at the main organs of male and female reproductive system, the process of fertilization, implantation and finally birth. The third unit is called human body. Under this unit we are required to study about two organ systems in our body. The first one is called the nervous system. Here we will look at the central and peripheral nervous system, their parts as well as function, the different types of nerves, the structure of a motor neuron and reflex action in our body. The second organ system that we are required to study is the endocrine system. Here we will look at the concept as well as difference between the exocrine and endocrine glands. We look at the definition of hormones, the different hormonal glands present in our body, their name, location and function. Then we will study about the phase of adolescence, the physical and emotional changes accompanying this phase, about personal hygiene and the, pers and the importance of personal hygiene and finally we will study about stress management. The fourth unit is called health and hygiene. Under this unit, we have a single chapter wherein we are required to study about the categories of diseases, the process of vaccination and immunization which helps us in the protection of our body against these diseases. We will study about personal hygiene, the harmful effects of consuming tobacco, alcohol and drugs and finally we will study about first aid. The fifth unit is called pollution and conservation. In this unit 2, we have a single chapter where we will be studying about the categories of pollutants, the major kinds of pollution 
and their respective control measures and finally we will be studying about natural resources their classification as well as conservation. The sixth and the final unit in the syllabus of class 8 ICC biology is food production and management. This unit is divided into two chapters part 1 and part 2. We, in the part 1 of this chapter we will study about uses of microorganisms namely bacteria and fungi in the food industry. We will study about agriculture, the different food and cash crops grown in India, soil, its types and properties and the different agricultural practices followed. Then we will study about horticulture that is garden cultivation, about organic farming and green revolution. In the second part of uh, food production and management, we will study about animal husbandry which basically refers to rearing of livestock and other animals for the benefit of humans. This is the end of the syllabus discussion. From the next video onwards, we will start off with the first chapter that is blood, the circulatory fluid in our body. Thank you for watching this video.